AMD has officially announced that their Ryzen 9000 X3D chips are coming on November 7th, but we still don't know what SKUs are coming and what the specs are. One thing that we know that AMD is marketing their new X3D design. So in this video, let's discuss what's echoing around the grapevine. First, let's start with specs. Videocards.com got their hands on to some promotional materials on 9800X3D. And according to that, the 9800X3D will have 16% IPC uplift due to Zen 5 architecture. Also, the CPU will feature next generation 3D V cache with 96 megabytes of L3 cache. The chip can boost up to 5.2 gigahertz with DDR5 6000 and 8000 plus with overclock memory support. We can expect 8% better gaming performance and 15% better compute performance. Now, that's the leaked official numbers from AMD. Now let's talk about some leaked unofficial numbers. The CPU was benchmarked in Geekbench and scored 3295 to 3305 in single core and 18221 to 18560 in multi core. But why I'm giving you a range of numbers? Because the CPU was tested on Geekbench 6.2 and 6.3 with slight variability. For example, with an ASUS motherboard, the 9800X3D reached 5.3 GHz clock speed with 48GB of memory. Speed of the memory is not disclosed and the test was on Geekbench 6.2. But in Geekbench 6.3 with a BioStar motherboard with 48 gigabytes of 8000 mega transfer per second memory, the CPU reached 5.2 gigahertz clock speed. But in both tests, the CPU's base clock is reported as 4.7 gigahertz and 96 megabytes of L3 cache, which lines with the earlier spec leaks from AMD. And with ASUS motherboard, the CPU is able to reach 5.3 gigahertz because of PBO. Now, if we compare that result with 7800 x3d then we are looking at 21 percent improvement in single core and close to 23 percent improvement in multi-core in cinnamon r23 the 9800 x3d is 28 percent faster than 7800 x3d in multi-core with 23,317 points and 18 percent faster with 2145 points these numbers are coming from an alleged msi briefing and it is first reported by hardware lux also we got some gaming numbers thanks to again MSI allegedly. In Black Myth Wukong and Shadow of Tomb Raider, the 9800X3D is just 2% faster compared to 7800X3D and the biggest difference is in Far Cry 6 where the 9800X3D beats the 7800X3D by 16%. Now I will agree with you, the gaming numbers aren't looking that impressive but the slides only shows one bar which I am guessing is for average FPS. Also we only know that these games are running on 1080p resolution, we don't know what kind of graphics settings these games are running on whether ray tracing is on or not also the sample size is very small only three games were tested here and black myth wukong is a very demanding game and i can safely say it is a little gpu bound here shadow of the tomb raider is old but the inbuilt benchmark does report some detailed numbers and i haven't tested or played far cry 6 and also the number could vary depending on which outlet you are looking at based on their different testing methodologies. We need to see the CPU to be tested on a large number of games, then we will know the complete story. But I'm keeping my hopes in check here. I'm not expecting any double digit gains and I would also suggest you not to expect that. Expect somewhere 5 to 15% on average improvement when it comes to gaming, which won't be that bad if AMD priced this CPU right. If the CPU is launched at or under $400 then this could be a great deal but we still don't know what the pricing situation going to be. It looks like that we have to wait for AMD's official announcement for pricing because there have been no leaks when it comes to pricing up until now. But another interesting thing about these CPUs that I am excited about that this will be the first unlocked X3D chips. With previous generation of X3D CPUs, you either could not do anything or could just only overclock the memory speed, but that is changing with 9000 X3D chips. You will be able to manually tune core clock frequency by your liking or how much the CPU is able to push it through. And guess what? We also got some numbers with an overclock 9800 X3D chip. Igor Kravinsky, an active member of Anantech form, has shared some Cinebench R23 numbers numbers with a 9800X3D CPU that is overclocked to 5.6 GHz. Now in the image that was shared, there was 
wasn't any mention of what kind of cooling solution the CPU is running on but the CPU scored 2261 in single core and 25258 in multi core which make this overclocked CPU 5% faster in single core and 8% faster in multi core compared to vanilla 9800X 3D. I think these new 9000X 3D chips are trying to bridge the gap between 3D vCache and Infinity Fab. But previously you have to choose between better gaming performance with X3D or better compute performance with a non X3D chip. But now you don't have to make that choice according to what we have seen so far. But lastly, these are leaks and rumors. So wait for the official announcement and third party reviews before making your mind. But until then, like the video if you liked it. If you haven't, well, feel free to dislike and let me know in the comment section. Are you guys excited about these 9000 X3D chips or not? Don't forget to subscribe right here. And if you want to watch more videos from us, check out this video right here. And this is Akash and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.